Hey, welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. It's your boy Marvin. We're going to get straight into reaction video, which is quite interesting. Sadia Khan podcast again. Uh, chasing approval dooms relationship success. Let's listen to what he's got to say. I've got my own comments again. People, some people may agree, some people may not. Let's get straight into it. Yeah, they're thinking, oh, okay, I just need to make more money. But if you have to rely on something external to access that, that means it's not actually for you. It's not actually a joy for you. Yeah? I don't know about that. Do you think so? I think if I had to, you know, get a few surgeries to get the right guy for me, uh -huh. we're not right for each other. And similarly, if a man had to make a, a couple of thousands, a couple of more million to access me, he himself is not right for me. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, do I mean yes? Here, what you're saying is very complex. Yeah. In that, if I needed to, if I really wanted you, and mm. you would have nothing to do with me, and yeah. I go make a couple more million, and I come back, and now you want me, yeah. bad news bears. Bad news. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. if you go make a couple million different women will now be in your league yeah that's just real yeah. and ladies this is not me encouraging you to get plastic surgery yeah. in fact i've talked my wife I, my wife used to be insecure about her nose right. which she has talked openly about mm -hmm. i love that fucking nose Aww. so um mm -hmm. i did not want her i would never have wanted her to get surgery yeah it's not like she was contemplating it no. or anything but when she was a kid she did and yeah. when she brought that up to me i was like oh my god i love your nose mm. um but if she had gotten a nose job when she was a kid, more guys probably would have been attracted to her. Right. So it's like, that's real. I, yeah, I get it. But I also think that you, what you're compatible with it has to be in line with your actual self-esteem, not your extrinsic value. So I do think... I agree with that. I think that um, sometimes if you want to change something about yourself when you're younger, in five years' time, you, wouldn't, you may not care about it so much because you've lived a bit. And people sometimes judge you, sometimes from the inside, not the outside. And like I said, I think it has a lot to do with self-esteem and confidence is what you think of yourself. There's lots of things I wanted to change about myself when I was younger, feeling, oh, I could be better that way. Um, but do you know what? I looked at it as long as I was healthy, um, went to the gym, uh, uh, worked hard, uh, didn't chase goals I couldn't reach. I was a far better person that yes let's say for example i get a bunch of surgery and stuff like that sadia is still sadia she has a level of confidence and self-esteem that is pretty much stable now i might end up let's say i get loads of surgery and i end up being with i don't know chris brown the reality is the real me is incompatible with him and i won't know how to navigate that kind of man i'll feel insecure in his presence i'll feel like every woman is my competition because the next girl with more surgery can attract him i won't feel like i attracted him mm -hmm. i felt like something external attracted him which is easily replaceable similarly if you have to make a couple of a couple of million to get hold of that pamela anderson kind of woman unfortunately what that means is you become replaceable all it takes is somebody else with that money the real you and the real person that you attract on will eventually become irreplaceable if you use internal ingredients. A verbo is for sharing all kinds of moments. From tea ingredients to attract a partner. Hmm. It's very interesting. So I think the base assumption in that mm -hmm. that I may not a hundred percent agree with mm -hmm. is or the reality is more complicated, mm -hmm. is that if you I'll, I'll stick to the male side because yeah. maybe... Uh, I get the male adjusting. side a little bit more because here's the thing. I couldn't be attracted to a man who's not successful only because the qualities it takes to be unsuccessful in this day and age, you have to be relatively lazy and you have to be because there's so many opportunities to education or to online marketing or something like that so i don't like the traits that keep a man unsuccessful i like the traits of a successful man but reality is the more a woman is physically attracted to you the more she makes access to her easy the more physically attracted she is to you access becomes easy the less attractive to you the more barriers become available so that's why i think that when she's placing barriers there there's a lack of physical attraction so you are overcoming physical attraction to access her and then you run the risk of her being physically unfaithful. Mm. So that's why I don't recommend it. Very true. I think some people get together for the wrong reasons. Um, a lot of it, as Sadi said, can be through looks. 
um, at the end of the day. But one thing about looks, they fade. And also, it's internally, you've got to look at, at the end of the day, whether you're compatible. You know, yes, everyone likes beautiful people, whether male or female, at the end of the day. But it's also what's compatible for you. And have you got the same beliefs to strive together? This is important. That. Yeah, that's oh. so interesting. And I've heard you say that rich men get cheated on more than more. you're. Uh, that's so mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Uh, so here's to your point. Mm -hmm. The reason that I think that the reality is slightly more complicated, certainly for guys, maybe for women, mm -hmm. is that when, like, I. I, nobody expected me to do well. Mm -hmm. My mother, when I left for college, quietly assumed that I was going to fail. No, okay. definitely not. <laughs> so we were, mm -hmm. we were on the border between middle class and lower middle class. Okay. You had point. access to education? Uh, public. Public, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and you went on to college? Not stellar. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, amazing. And took out loans yeah. and all that good stuff. Okay. Um, but I didn't have discipline. Mm -hmm. And so I think there's a, you, you have to have ambition, discipline, and intellect, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I wish that wasn't part of the equation, but it is. Mm -hmm. And if you have those three things, then you've got a chance to be successful. Mm -hmm. But nobody knows if you can develop drive. Yeah. And so I had ambition, mm -hmm. and thankfully I had intellect that maybe hadn't fully developed yet. Right. Um, but no one was sure if I would develop drive. And I didn't develop drive until after... I asked Lisa to marry me. Aww. She said yes. And then I started becoming very ashamed of myself mm -hmm. because I was laying in bed four to five hours a day while she went to work. Oh, okay. And my only job was to make her a sandwich at lunch. And half the time I was like scrambling to have it made by the time she got there and I wasn't mm -hmm. getting dressed or doing my hair. And she mm -hmm. was mortified. Mm -hmm. So anyway, finally one day I'm like, oh my God, I'm telling, I promised her dad I would make her rich one day. Mm -hmm. I told her I'm going to make her rich one day and nothing I'm doing is yeah. actually pointed in that direction. Mm -hmm. And that shame, that self-loathing was enough to get me moving. Right. Then once I developed, the discipline then I was like okay now I can fucking do anything I want it's yeah. absolutely incredible and so I became a person that was worthy of her respect mm -hmm. this is it I think in my experience in my experience I was lucky to have quite a few good jobs back in the day where I could afford to take my young girlfriend out at that time um, for meals and enjoy life, go to clubs, go to bars, um, go to the cinema, um, go to fairgrounds, take holidays. And, but it is your life, um, what is ambition? What makes you tick? Are you gonna be able to look after her kids when you have kids together? Are you reliable? Are you a safe guy to be with? You know, these are the questions that um, a woman wants to know at the end of the day. Do you take life too seriously? Some people do, and sometimes you've got to learn how to relax a little bit because things will work themselves out eventually. As long as you're doing good things, things will come good. This is why I, th I think, and thinking strategically. And worthy of my own respect, quite frankly. And so that really made me a different person. Yeah. And an attractive person. Yeah, and so it, it is a very complicated, complicated. thing yes. because, so we got married young, and this is something that I'm sad is very uncommon now, mm. but I don't know who I would be if I hadn't met her. Mm. And here, this is another reason why I think more traditional roles are very useful. Mm -hmm. So when Lisa and I got together, mm -hmm. She was very traditional. She grew up in a traditional household. Her family was Greek. Mm -hmm. um, her dad told her, "Yeah, you can go study filmmaking or whatever you want." Because you're, you're, mm -hmm. and he didn't mean this in a derogatory way. Yeah. The greatest thing a woman can do with her life is become a wife and mother. Yeah. And so, to honor the gods, like I, I really want. That's how he thought of it. Yeah. He did not think, "Oh, you're less than." Yeah. To become the thing that is worth a man dying for, yeah. you will go become a wife and mother. It's the most beautiful thing you could do. It's the greatest contribution mm -hmm. to the world, to your family. Like people that denigrate, my wife doesn't have kids. I don't mm -hmm. have kids. But to denigrate motherhood is fucking insane. Yeah. So anyway, with, with love and respect, joy and yeah. reverence in his... I love some of the points he made, um, especially that he was elevated to another level 
um, due to his wife's patience, it made him think that, although she must have been telling him, come on, get a move on at the end of the day, um, I think she was inspiring to him a work ethic and it made him his uh, elevate himself um, to the next level. And I think women can, can do that. 100% especially if there's com compatibility and they can see your worth um, what is inside of you they can elevate you higher than you've ever been before I truly truly believe truly truly believe that especially I don't think she has to be a soulmate but I believe in um, that um, you have to have connections and also be good friends as well that's a wonderful thing his heart yes. he was thinking you will become uh, a mother so enjoy your time yeah, yeah. so like yeah study whatever you want mm -hmm. and that really imprinted in my wife even though she had big dreams mm -hmm. it imprinted in my wife that being a mother and being a wife is very honorable right and so when we got married she thought okay you go be successful first and then when we're successful enough I'll chase my dream as well mm -hmm. and in that, though, she had to work through me. Mm -hmm. She didn't have a direct interface to the world with ambition and mm -hmm. drive, but she had a husband. Mm -hmm. And she could incentivize her husband mm -hmm. in her very powerful feminine ways. Mm -hmm. And the greatest explanation of this I've ever heard was in my big fat Greek wedding. <laughs> when the woman said, your, or your father may be the head, mm -hmm. but I'm the neck. Mm -hmm. And I point him at whatever yeah. I want to point him. Yeah. That was my marriage. Yeah. And so my wife pointed me at becoming the man that I've become mm -hmm. and rewarded the things she liked. And I know this is probably the dumb word to use, but punished the things that she yeah. didn't. And to earn her respect and to get that look, mm -hmm. that look that a woman gives when she thinks you're incredible yeah to earn that look which is the greatest thing in the world yeah i became who i became yeah and it's super attractive to women it's because here's amazing. the thing we are attracted to men that fulfill their potential we're always attracted to a man that fulfills his potential when we see a man filled with potential and he's not using it we naturally become less attractive and it's one of the reasons why i find you know the younger generation where they make a lot of money on crypto and they make a lot of money quick well, uh, basically, that was Sadir Khan's uh, podcast. I think they talk, both talk brilliantly there and um, their experiences in different ways. Um, so that was Sadir Khan. Let me know your thoughts on that. I thought it was brilliant sort of breakdown on sometimes what women are looking for, what men are looking for, and what is the best way forward. At the end, everyone's got different views in life. At the end, the mind's different from the other person's, mind's different from my brother's or my sister's at the end of the day. But sometimes there are unique things in life which are special and which brings people together, uh, which was a wonderful thing. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and I'll leave your messages. I'll get back to you. Take care with your own world and support the channel. Thank you. Take care.